Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to use the shadow copy in Discovery and CMDB integration in order to troubleshoot CMDB and Discovery data mismatch issues. For this demo, let's use this Discovery 24.1 appliance. Let's log in with system user. So this is the Discovery appliance where CMDB integration is already created. Let's go to Administration and CMDB Sync. And here we can see that there is a CMDB Sync connection called as CMDB Development System. And this is the data set where the information is getting sent into CMDB. Now let's take a look at a sample use case. Let's go to Explore and Data. Click on the list of three hosts. We will pick one host. This is the host which is discovered in Discovery and with continuous sync on it is already sent into cmdb now let's take a look at the same record in cmdb so we were logging to cmdb with a user which has all the permission of a demo user we will directly go to the base element form let's select the data set which is set up in the connection and we will search for the host so in this example the problem is this the host is created over here successfully in the bmc underscore computer system class but the CTI mapping that you see over here is completely incorrect. Instead of creating a CTI entry of hardware, processing unit and server, the CTI mapping is incorrect as category as network, type as connectivity and item as IP subnet. So how do we find out that what kind of information is sent from discovery to CMDB when this record got created in the first place? Because there is a possibility that after this record got created in CMDB, either the record got manually updated by somebody else or it got updated by some kind of a filter, escalation or any other program. So how do we identify that what information was sent from discovery to CMDB in the first place? And this is where the shadow copy can help you. So what is shadow copy? BMC Discovery maintains an authoritative model of the dataset of each configured CMDB connection in its data store. So when a CMDB sync connection is created, BMC Discovery creates a shadow copy of the data that the corresponding CMDB dataset should hold and sends that to the CMDB. And when the data is modified as a result of discoveries, deletion or manual sync, these changes are updated in the shadow copy and then simply propagated to CMDB without the need to first check the content of actual CMDB, meaning that only changes are sent into CMDB. Now let's take a look on how we can query that. Let's go to explore and let's go to the query. Click on the tab generic query. So in order to query the shadow copy, we need to know the partition name. In order to find it out, run the query lookup partition and click on run query. These are the partition returned by the query. We need to find the partition that matches the CMDB sync connection name and then copy it. So here, this is the name of our CMDB connection. So we will copy that and then we will come back to explore and query again. You can query the shadow copy based on specific CI type. So in this example, we need to take a look at that host node, which has created a record in BMC underscore computer system class. So we will build a query something like this. We have to search in name of the partition. Then we will enter the class, which is BMC underscore computer system. And then we will add show. And now we will add the attributes that we are interested in. So for this example, we are interested in name token ID, serial number and instance ID. And because we are troubleshooting the incorrect CTI mapping, we will add the attribute category, type and item and then click on run query. So here we see all the records that discovery has sent from this discovery appliance to CMDB in BMC underscore computer system class. Here we can copy the instance ID of this particular record, search for that ID over here and open this record. You can see right here that the category, type and item is actually populated correctly as hardware, processing unit and server. This record in the shadow copy gives you the confirmation 
then when this record was sent from discovery to cmdb it was sent correctly this page will show you more details about the record such as name of the class all the other attributes which are sent to cmdb and here you can also see the relationship with related ci for example click on file pmc software service related select the record and here you can see the software instance which is sent from discovery to cmdb into bmc underscore software server class all the attributes its value and the relationships let's come back to the earlier page you can also see the same information in visualization if you hover over the icon you will see the node and the name of the class and if you expand the collection here you can see the name of the ci and if you hover over it you can also see the name of the class so now that we have found the problem how do we fix it so occasionally the model stored in the cmdb data set can become out of the step with the shadow copy of cmdb connection and you can fix that with the resynchronization for example if cmdb tools have been used to modify the data set in this case when updates are returned to non existing node instance error are raised when bmc discovery register these instance error it attempts to fix them automatically but sometimes resynchronization is needed for example in this case because of a manual update the data is a mismatch so we will go to administration and cmdb sync open the connection click on the resync tab and click on start resync here we can see that the resync is completed now if you go to the cmdb and just refresh the record here we can see that the cti mapping is updated and now you can see correctly hardware processing unit and server as the cti mapping for this host this is just a very small example in order to know more about the shadow copy and how to query it and how to design specific queries please refer this knowledge article that's all in the session for right now thank you for watching